Hey, it is Andy with fencepost.com, the music and vinyl blog. And today I have another unboxing video. In fact, right from the package itself, which is much better than the last one, which didn't even come in a box. So today's album should be the 10th anniversary of Sleep Party People's self-titled release. Before we get started, down in the description, you can find a link to where you can get this album, along with multiple posts where I have covered Sleep Party People over the last decade. Already this is promising, simply because it is in a record sleeve and not a garment bag, as the photo for it showed a t-shirt that said, Dog Mom. But the price was excellent and I just couldn't resist risking it. All right, there it is. 10th anniversary Sleep Party People. Critically acclaimed self-titled debut on pale gold transparent vinyl. This looked really cool in the photos I've seen of it. So I'm pretty excited to dig in and see what it looks like in person. Horse, reminds me of something. I'll be right back. All right, that's better. Horse and horse. 14 hands, cab salve. Now I'm ready to continue. I'm liking the inner sleeve. Just a tiny bit of credits. Oh, this is cool. Look at that. That looks amazing. Sleep Party People, they are self-titled LP, 10th anniversary edition on pale gold transparent vinyl. Loving it. Sleep Party People, 10th anniversary. Technically, this originally came out in 2010, so we're about a dozen years in now. I'm loving it. This is a great album. Uh, I was kind of surprised to find that, hey, there it was, right on Amazon, so I couldn't help but pick it up. This copy was actually 14 bucks too, which is pretty awesome, especially given that it's a Danish band, meaning that a lot of times those copies are over in Europe, so they tend to get elevated prices in the States. Then again, it is on Joyful Noise Recordings. Joyful Noise, if you're not aware, is a label out of Indianapolis, Indiana, and they've released a lot of really cool indie stuff over the years. Now, Sleep Party People's music is a bit interesting. It's a bit electronic, a bit creepy, a bit left field, quite experimental. I love it. Very melodic, upbeat, poppy, but it's got a huge element of darkness to it. I mean, the money. So Sleep Party People is a Danish multi-instrumentalist named Brian Batts. He tends to wear a bunny mask that kind of looks like that when he performs along with a bunch of other people who perform alongside him. While it tends to be viewed as a one-man band, it's not always the case live, obviously. I've been a fan of Sleep Party People for quite a while. Possibly, no, probably not as long as this album's been out. But I've definitely been a fan for them for over a decade, as 2012 was when they released We Were Drifting on a Sad Song. The song that started it all for me was actually 10 Feet Up, the third song on this album. Others that I have fallen in love with over the years include The Dwarf and the Horse, and I'm Not Human at All. Anyways, here it is, Sleep Party People's debut self-titled album on pale gold wax. In the description, you can see a link to where you can get that album, along with links over to my blog, where I have covered this band several times over the last decade or so. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more regular unboxing videos and album reviews. See you next time.